Hi, my name is Josh Levy. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Center for Digital Resilience. We're a small organization that focuses on strengthening the digital resilience and integrity of civic space around the world. We work closely with regional partners to provide the structures, tools, and resources needed by communities to operate safely and effectively online. We have three core pillars at CDR, community engagement, information and analysis, and technology. Community engagement focuses on building strong individual relationships across community actors and building their confidence and capacity to mitigate the threats that they face every day. The information and analysis pillar focuses on information being the currency of our community, allowing us to learn from each other's mistakes and to mitigate the risks that we face. Finally, our technology pillar focuses on our CDR Link platform. Link is a flexible, multi-channel, open source ticketing and help desk platform that enables community members to easily request assistance and providers to respond to those requests. CDR Link is an extremely flexible and extremely powerful help desk platform that is built on something called Zamod. Zamod is a customer oriented help desk platform that is open source that is very flexible and has at its core a powerful multi-channel ticketing function which allows users to submit tickets via popular messaging apps like Telegram, like Twitter, Facebook, and also SMS, email, and via the web. We've taken Zamod and we have customized it to make it more secure, more flexible, and to add new channels like Signal and WhatsApp so that members of our community who rely on more secure messaging platforms can use those platforms to submit tickets for help knowing that no one else has access to the data that they are submitting. By adding these new channels and the privacy and security features to the Zamod platform, we've created CDR Link, which is not only useful as a help desk platform, but can be useful to anyone in the human rights community looking for a platform that enables them to submit data from point A to point B in a secure way in which no third party has access to that data. As we continue to develop CDR Link to make it a better, more robust help desk platform and also to make it useful for other use cases, a number of values guide us every step of the way. First is a focus on security and privacy making sure that they are included from the start and never as an afterthought or as an add-on. Second, every piece of technology we build is open source so that anyone else can use it and can apply it to their own projects and so that anyone can use what we've built for their own use case without us giving them permission. Third is a focus on strengthening the ecosystem and making sure that everything we build is useful on other people's platforms and can strengthen the work that they are doing as well as the work that we are doing. We ourselves have built this platform on the shoulders of other people's work and we want to make sure it's possible for others to build on the shoulders of our work. Fourth is a focus on clear, transparent documentation so that anyone else outside of CDR can make good use of the CDR link platform and all of the bits and pieces that we're building. Uh, we don't want to have to make people rely on us. We want to make sure that this is available to people long after CDR is gone and without CDR support. So we are documenting every bit of CDR link. We are documenting every way to install the platform and to make it useful to folks in different contexts. Finally, it's important to note that we have put Zamod, the core platform that powers CDR link, through a rigorous security audit and a number of vulnerabilities and bugs have been addressed because of that security audit. So the community can rest assured that the code has been seen, the code has been audited, and that fixes have been made. Now we're going to talk about the ways that CDR Link is being used and can be used. As I mentioned, CDR Link's core function is as a help desk for digital security responders and providers. Link is optimized to be able to receive information from almost any channel you can think of. So if we take a look at Signal, which is widely used in our community, you can send a message via your phone that will be received in CDR Link securely. And it can be responded to from within CDR Link by a dedicated 
digital security responder. They can respond with and ask for more information and they can initiate a conversation over Signal that stays secure, stays end-to-end -end encrypted, but can be received by a help desk operator or a number of help desk operators within CDR Link. As you can see, tickets can be assigned to different operators depending on need and depending on expertise. And Link will retain a record of communications between what we call agents and members seeking assistance. These records can be deleted at any time, but they are useful while a ticket is being worked on. It's also possible to set up multiple agents within Link who have different sets of permissions so that some agents can receive requests from certain groups and other agents will only receive requests from other groups, maintaining a firewall between different sets of groups to make sure that user privacy and security is maintained. As I mentioned before, CDR Link includes multiple channels that can be used by those seeking support. Those channels include the web, email, SMS, Twitter, WhatsApp, Signal, and Telegram. We can always add more channels as well because CDR Link is already so flexible. Close to a dozen organizations are already using CDR Link to serve the members of their community and we have set up customized, branded versions of CDR Link for many of those organizations. CDR itself takes on the hosting and the maintenance of most of those CDR Link installations, and we are happy and able to set up instances for your organization if the need is there. Now I'm going to talk about two more use cases for CDR Link beyond the help desk that we've just described. One is called Water Bear, which we built to address the needs of disinformation data gathering efforts. Water Bear enables large groups of organizations or volunteers to securely and safely collect data in the form of screenshots, in the form of web addresses, or any other kind of data that's available online into CDR Link through a custom web form that safely and quickly submits the data into the CDR Link ticketing platform where that data can be analyzed, tagged, and sent on to what we call a QA tool where analysts can finalize the data, remove any personally identifiable information, and send it on to a core database for further analysis. The other project that's just getting underway that uses CDR Link as its core platform is called LeafCutter which is a community engagement effort and secure platform for aggregating, displaying, and sharing data on digital security threats and attacks facing global civil society. LeafCutter will consist of three parts, CDR Link at its core, the MISP open source threat intelligence gathering platform, and a LeafCutter dashboard that we will be building that will enable civil society groups to analyze and access aggregated digital security threat data coming from multiple sources, including CDR link instances that are deployed in different regions around the world. As the water bear and leaf cutter examples show, there are so many ways to use CDR link beyond just as a help desk, and we've only scratched the surface of what's possible. If you have an idea for using CDR link as a help desk or to collect this information or for any other use, please get in touch with us at CDR. You can email me, Josh Levy, at josh at digiresilience.org to learn more about CDR Link and how it might be useful for you.